bueno, gracias por, por la oportunidad. Y bueno, yo soy Verónica, fundé Hey, que es un estudio de diseño gráfico e ilustración que está en Barcelona. Lo fundé ahora hace 11 años. Y, y bueno, y, y la idea, lo que, lo que hacemos es más un, crear un lenguaje visual donde este lenguaje se pueda aplicar tanto a gráfico, print, digital, producto, lo que salga. Quizá lo diferente por ser yo una mujer emprendedora, la verdad es que bueno, no hay muchas mujeres que funden estudios, o sea, hay un estudio hecho que dice que el 11% de las directoras creativas eh, en el mundo ¿no? solo son mujeres, un 11% es muy poco. Y, y bueno, y, pero la verdad es que he tenido muy buena experiencia. Eh, no he tenido ningún caso extraño por ser, haber sido mujer, al revés, al final los clientes han venido al estudio por lo que hacemos, no, no por nuestras caras ni, ni quién somos. Y, y, y sí, bueno, el ser mujer y ser madre y ser... Pues estas cosas sí que hubo un momento de mi vida que, que tuve que gestionarlo mejor, pero la verdad que, que me ayudó a, incluso a llevar mejor el estudio y a gestionarlo mucho mejor. Eh, proyectos a destacar, claro, es que en 11 años hay muchos y es difícil cuando me hacen esta pregunta porque no puedo elegir solo uno. Adobe está siempre presente porque somos Illustrator eh, full time <risa> y, y quizás sí, cuando empezamos pues sí que hacíamos una ilustración muy, muy plana, flat design, cuando todavía en esa época mucha gente no lo hacía, entonces claro, Illustrator era nuestra herramienta principal ¿no? y hay muchos proyectos, quizá pues cuando empezamos a trabajar para Monocle Magazine con las ilustraciones nos abrió mucho el, el terreno internacional proyectos más pequeños que para, para amigos, ¿no? que también he visto que les he ayudado y les ha ido bien, o a proyectos más importantes para nuestra ciudad, para Barcelona. Sí, yo creo que el consejo para que doy y a, a los chicos o chicas que están estudiando o acabando la, la carrera, o a lo mejor se encuentran en un momento que no hay oportunidades laborales o no encuentran trabajo, Sí que creo que tenemos una herramienta que es súper poderosa, es que, es que somos creativos. ¿no? Y ya solo el hecho de ser creativos nos abre muchas puertas a hacer lo que queramos. Y, y por suerte tenemos toda una plataforma que nos ayuda a hacer ver ese trabajo, ¿no? a darlo a conocer. Entonces, si hay un momento que realmente no tienes trabajo, pues créalo. Eh, a nivel de retos, yo creo que estamos en un punto que va a cambiar mucho. Bueno, no es que yo sea como eh, una erudita pensando en esto, pero sí que veo que hay un cambio a lo más digital y que nos tenemos que adaptar, ¿no? Los diseñadores que a lo mejor, claro, yo empecé pues hace bastantes años y, y sí, abrir, abrirnos, ¿no? Que al final, a lo mejor tu profesión o lo que se estudia es diseño, pero lo que acabas haciendo pueden ser otras cosas, ¿no? Es, al final es una manera de cómo afrontar los proyectos y, y tu vida, ¿no? De una forma creativa y, si, y no estar cerrado solo en un tipo de, de disciplina, sino a estar abiertas a todas. La filosofía de trabajo la he ido descubriendo con el paso de los años y, y prueba-error. Entonces sí que al final es trabajo de lo que me gusta, ¿no? Es una pasión intentar transmitir esta pasión a la gente que trabaja conmigo y sacar lo mejor de ellos. Bueno, quizá sí que un consejo que podría decir, que eso es lo que he ido diciendo en la entrevista, pues abrirse ¿no? y no hacer siempre lo mismo y a lo mejor tienes miedos de hacer cosas que no has hecho antes, pero por suerte tenemos muchos amigos y muchos colaboradores y entonces si un día necesitas ayuda, pues haces una llamada y, bueno, y, y salen cosas nuevas y, y, y retos nuevos. So I'm Veronica. I am founded Hey a long time ago, 11 years ago, and this is me when I was a kid and my brother. And I show this picture because uh, I think it's very Hey, and 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 my mother used to dress my brother and me the same. So it's something that I really hate, but these things happened in families. 
And, and then I studied graphic design because I always was interested in creativity. My first option was cinema, and I couldn't go inside. To, but my second was, uh, fortunately, the graphic design. So when I was studying, uh, I was very inspired by the 60s and 70s, that modernist style. And I discovered this art that was made in the 1959, that was made by DDV. Um, this art means a lot in the history, in design and advertising, because there was an after, before and after, because it was the first time that there was a, a concept, think small, and there was only a picture that occupies only like that 20% of the of the page. So it means a more, uh, it means a lot in the history. So I was at the same time while I was studying, very impressed by the work of Jean Whitman, Max Hoover. So you can see here the colors, the illustration, all these things that I really love. This is Guy Gide, that was a, a pharmacy uh, company, very big in Germany. So this is a product for insects. And I, I like to show this picture on the next one, because this is what we are doing now. And we made this in the 50s or 60s. So it's something that we are doing very bad right now. This is another product. I don't know exactly what it is. I think this is anti anti antibiotics. This is um, antidepressant. And also at the same time, at that age, was like, uh, I think was unique because at the same time was in the US, in Japan, in Europe, everywhere in the world, there was this modernist style that happens at the same time. This is Iko Tanaka in Japan, Paul Rahn in the States, Milton Glaser in the States. So this is like a very small selection of my inspiration. Ivan Chermayev, that did these amazing trademarks. And this is my favorite graphic design, Herb Luvalin. And also Massimo Vinelli, that did the identity of the Metro of New York, that is still alive. They use the same uh, identity Massimo Vinelli did in the, I think, 60s. So at the end, while I was studying, I find this quote about Fauron that said, design is so simple. That's why it's so complicated. And I wanted to do that. And I said, OK, I'm going to found my studio. But first, I need to learn from other people. And I spent seven years working in different studios in Barcelona. And in 2007, I founded my studio. That is Hey Studio. This is the social media, if you want to say something in Instagram. And, but I said, OK, I want to open my studio. And I need a team. The first year I was alone at my home, but this team means a lot for me because I think good projects, I mean, a good team makes a good projects. So I spend a lot of time trying to choose a correct person that is around me. So here, this is the team. This is me. I'm the director. Uh, Gemma is also my best friend. She is the hair shop manager, Eva designer. Adria, he is also a designer, and Paula, the project manager. Um, this is my first studio at my home. I'm oh, sorry. No, 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 no. <laughs> What's happening? <laughs> sorry, sorry. <laughs> okay, my okay, sorry. This is my my home, and and I and also my studio. I think all designers in the world start start in their own houses. So I spent four years like this until my, when my daughter was born. Uh, this is Nora. In, the speak, in that picture, Nora was um, sef, no, five months. And now Nora is seven years <laughs> and does these kind of things. <laughs> so I ran away the studio. Yes, it's not necessary. Um, I, I ran away the studio and I went uh, in a place five minutes from my house. In that place that on the right you can see another studio that it, I share with a friend of mine, it's Josep Basora. So here we are three, but at the end we were five. 
in that, that dark room, there were two people more. So you can imagine that 25 meters was very impossible to work all together. So we moved the studio two years and a half ago to a Poplano, and we have uh, plenty of space. And we said to our clients, come to visit us, because we, before we said, no, please, we, we go, we go to, you, to your place. And now, because we spend a lot of money <laughs> with the working, with the doing it very nice. So what we do is visual languages, and uh, yes, <laughs> I studied graphic design and also I did a degree of, ty of ty by typography and editorial design. But I think graphic design, it's not doing branding or, or editorial. I think it's a, a kind of, of way to think, no? I mean, you can do whatever, you can do digital, you can do print, you can do branding, and, and also you can do product. product. It's just a visual language. So with all my reference of the past, with the modernness, I said, OK, my studio is going to be colorful, very bold, and I'm going to try a lot of things to find the best way to communicate. Also food, it's very weird to see the food here, but you will understand it in the next slides. Fun is very important. I want to enjoy working. And side, sorry. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> es que es nuevo, lo he comprado hace cinco minutos. Y on site, because um, side projects, it's very important. So colorful. A color for me, it's very important, because uh, it's, for me it's the same as a typeface or a picture or an illustration. With color, you can communicate a lot of things, so you can tell a story. Uh, depends on which colors you use for a project or another, it tells a different narrative. So, for example, a project that the color is very important is that one. It's a, a jam company. It's one of my best friends that she lives in Miami, and she called me and said to me, OK, Ibero, I have a project for you. It's very nice. It's a label design for marmalade. I do it at my home, handmade, healthy. And I said, OK, let me think one day, because you are my best friend, and I want you to be my best friend forever. <laughs> and I spent one night thinking about that, and I said, OK, Agnes, I'm going to help you, but please give me all the freedom possible. And of course, the quotation was very low. And the second question, OK, Vero, and you have one week. OK, <laughs> let's do it. So uh, Agnes explained to me that this kind of food in the US, it's, uh, you, you eat um, like side with parties, in parties. So I said, OK, party. <laughs> One week party. And party was a concept that was only in the labels and also in the business cards. And it was very easy. Also, the quotation of production was very low. So it was uh, printed in, in colorful papers. And the business card was the same, holes. It means party, and also at the same time is that you are eating like this. But nobody understands that, but I want to explain that. <laughs> and, and I said, OK, you are doing it by handmade, so let's do it handmade. And at the beginning, it was very funny, because she produced like 50 marmalades per week, and now she produces a thousand. And of course, uh, <laughs> yes, it's not possible that way. And it's uh, like um, with a die cut. Another project that color is very important is that one, it's called Scopitone. It's an art festival on digital electronic music in Nantes. Scopitone, I didn't know at that time what does it mean. So it's this machine on the left. It's, the first, it's like a jukebox, we had the first jukebox with video. And you can see some images that they do in this festival. So they, it's uh, electronic music with uh, digital art. So that was the inspiration to do the posters. So the briefing, the commission was to do only the posters and they did all the applications. And we present two, two options. Only one ink. <laughs> Sometimes we work in black and white. And because here you see the, this digital abstraction with the laser. And the other one was uh, working with uh, Evocodes. 
that it's very digital with the main colors. And the client chose this, this concept. And we want, wanted to do, like, not literal with um, these colors. And we uh, went further and we did this um, mood colors and some posters that it, together they fit it together. And also we did a small video that they follow our indications more or less. <laughs> Another project is Arels, it's a shoe company in Barcelona. It's a kind of Espardeña, it's a, it's a, um, uh, it's in English, Arels uf, means a raíces. And it's because it comes from the countryside and they want, the client wanted to introduce this concept in the city. So we had two concepts, rural and urban at the same time. And we choose these colors because rural is from the heart, and from the heart is red, and urban is city, and city is blue. I mean, it's easy, <laughs> not complicated. <laughs> and this is the logotype, and this is, a, this is a very old typeface, barnissage, so we did the uh, vectorize and we changed a little bit the e. So with the corporate applications, we work in, this cons in these two colors that is very corporate. But of course, they had the shoebox and another element that goes to the direct client, and we need it to be more fresh and more colorful. So the concept, we went, OK, we have the name. That means uh, roots. And let's work on this, and let's see the concept around this. So the roots come from the earth, and the earth has these uh, layers, the strata, and, and let's see what can we do, uh, do with the graphics. We said, OK, let's play with paper. So the layers of the earth is paper, and let's play. And we did some compositions, and we scan it, and we trace it in Illustrator. And this is the box. So the idea was that you are like oh, developing, uh, no, um, abriendo la caja. Sorry, <laughs> I mean in Madrid, I can do that in Madrid. <laughs> and, and the client was so happy with these patterns that proposed us to do the, the shoe. And I said, okay, are you, are you sure about that? Because I will never wear these shoes. It's, it's, <laughs> it's so colorful. I love color, but I don't, I mean, it's, I think it's, I don't like it. And the client said, yes, please uh, trust in me. It's going to be very well and nice. And the client was true. Sometimes the client has the, the truth and was the first sales on the company. And at the same time, with it, uh, it was a very, uh, the quotation in that project was very low. <laughs> but I really loved the project. Um, and they gave us a lot of freedom. And another thing we did with, a com with this company was the brand book. This is not the final size, as you can see. <laughs> um, when we work on, on editorial projects, we do like a very shitty mock-up. And, and this is the concept, and because it were only 500 units, and we said, okay, let's do something by hand, because uh, part of the process of the shoes is made, is made by hand. So let's trace the roots in real with paper. So we trace the, uh, we cut the papers. Every double page, uh, there is a blue color, and we cut. Also, I wanted a white color, so there was a, a, an investment there looking for the correct way. And this is the final result, 500 units, unique. And when you see and you can do this kind of projects, I think is when graphic design exists, when there is no code or, no, or there is no a machine that can duplicate and it's unique. And for me, this is graphic design. So you can see the trays, there are roots that are not perfect. Um, and this is how we made this. And that was in the old studio, the very small studio in front of the computer. It was a very professional method. <laughs> and we did a lot. <laughs> and this is how we did. Very complex.
I choose the Chinese because I the Japanese because it seems more international. <laughs> And for this year, we did something similar. It's the lookbook of the company, and we wanted to follow the same process. And this is bigger, it's a three size, but we introduced more colors, and, and like it's quite different. And another uh, principle that is very important at the studio is being bold. So all this modern style at the end is like very, be very simple, uh, clean that you can read an objectivity. I use I put the cut because when you do gifts, it's like you can't, you need, you must put a cut. Okay. So some project that we follow this simplicity and this very simple way. This is an NGO project for Mallorca and Saimadas. This is the earthquake in Japan in 2011. Some posters for uh, Brown. This is a poster we did for the foundry, OMSE type, that they gave us for free, the typeface athletics, that it's the typeface that I use in, in the presentation. This is uh, when Massimo Vinelli died, a poster of the exhibition. Another poster for an NGO, Coca-Cola, another poster of the 60th anniversary of Helvetica. Uh, this is a project we did for Fundación Joan Miro that was about the chess, as you can see, it's very obvious. <laughs> and this is a project we did three years ago, or two and a half, for Red Cross in Spain, in the south of Spain, in Loja, Granada. In, it's a very nice project. Some, I love to work once or twice every year with an NGO. And we, go, we went to do a workshop with kids from five years to 11, 12. And the workshop was to explain them the principles of the Red Cross that are quite difficult to explain to a kid and also for me. <laughs> and you can see uh, neutrality, being volunteer, freedom. So the kids with some workshops like painting and doing collage, uh, they did these illustrations. And our work here was to select the illustrations and being like the editors and do the posters. So this is a result of kids uh, from five years to 12. And um, for example, this is a flower on character voluntario, and this is a, a that was a big illustration. And the kid was seven years, and and I said, okay, but why is a, a, um, a field full of flowers and it's raining? And and the kid said because the rain helps the flowers to to grow. And independencia, freedom, so the, I, mean, I think it's very easy to understand why a cat. So sometimes kids, they have the, the first uh, concept that they have is the correct one. And, it, and that, for me, it, it was impressive to work with them. So you can see in our website, there is a video that explains the full weekend there. And it's, it was very nice, and the kids were very happy to with us. So here you can see the cut over there. So we did like a selection. Another project very different from the other. It's an editorial project we did for a, a party, a political party in Catalonia that they proposed us to do the, like a manifesto of how could be the Catalonia, the independent Catalonia in the future. And, and I accept the project because the, the guy of the political party is a designer, and, and I really love the idea. And, and also, he gave me a lot of freedom to do the book. And the book is called Blau Sobra Blanc, that it means a blue over white. And the name was given by the client. So at the end was 500 units again. <laughs> And the, the, money, it, the book says all the things that we need to have in Catalonia to have it freedom, and we need to build it together. 
So the idea was, okay, so if we need it to, to build it together, let's do it in real. El concepte era crear un llibre únic. El que ens imaginàvem no era una proposta de país tancada, sinó tot el contrari. Ens imaginàvem un calaix obert, ple d'idees, on les gens poguessin inspirar, es poguessin qüestionar i es poguessin imaginar el país que estem construint a tots. At the end, that was the result. All these stickers made by hand, and on the inside was like a manifesto. So the look is more related with the manifesto style. Only one one ink. And the next project is also very different from the other. <laughs> so last year, the 31st of August, the City Council of Barcelona called us for the first time in 10 years, and they. They said, OK, I, please, can you come to see us and present the portfolio? And I said, OK, I can go. And I, I went to with my laptop, and I present the portfolio. And, they asked, and at the end of the meeting, they said, OK, are you happy if, if you want to do the Christmas campaign? I said, of course, I'm happy. <laughs> so, and, and I said, but you know that uh, we are hey, and we are not going to do the, the Three Kings, and we are not doing the Cagatillo, and all these kind of things, very literal and very descriptive. And I said, yes, I know. So I said, we did like a mood board and, and with some references. And this is the first option we present to the client, also with more, more ideas. So the idea was, Viu Alteo Nadal means view your own uh, Christmas. And we did like, at the end, we have some elements that are very typical from Christmas, from all the walls, the decoration, the tree. So we can uh, fold all these uh, elements with our own paper, with our own colors, and also because Barcelona is very multicultural. And they accept this um, option, but they say, OK, uh, we love the, the, the concept, but are you, you like Christmas? <laughs> And I said, yes, I love Christmas because the colors are not Christmas. And I thought, OK, let's do more Christmas color. And I add red. And I said, no, no, this is not Christmas. And I said, OK, I'm going to introduce the, 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 the red and also the green. And they said, no. I, I, I mean, while I was doing this, I knew how it's going to end. But I was like pushing and said, OK. <laughs> and I said, that this is Christmas? No, this is not Christmas. This is Christmas. <laughs> and, but at the same time, it, uh, people said, OK, are you Italian? <laughs> OK, yes. But sometimes working with a city council, is, is, um, you need a lot of like, around changes. But at the end, in that case, they, they gave us freedom, but with some color changes. Um, in, in Barcelona, we have like 10 different themes in the Christmas. Uh, for example, the, the, the New Year, the, the fireworks, um, the, the Three Kings. I mean, in the same as here. I mean, it's not very complicated. Um, this is the main, the main poster. And we did, like with all these themes, um, a unique illustration. So we, we did only the, the illustrations and the poster design that was for theaters. And everything we did was with by lines. And the South City Council um, hired a, a big agency with, to do all the uh, a thousand applications. <laughs>
Um, for example, uh, the one on, on the right is, is about uh, the lights. This is uh, the 31st of December and also the Three Kings Day. And it was a very nice project because it was the first time that we saw our, our designs in our city after 10 years. And the first uh, days when we, we, we saw all these um, designs was, lo was like, oh, sorry? Okay, no, otra vez. A ver, sorry. Uh, we were okay, we were very happy the first days and the WhatsApp of the studio was on fire, but after one week we said, okay, I don't want to see anything more. And that was the biggest thing that we did, the, the bad. <laughs> Um, but it was a very nice project. Another thing that is uh, very important at the studio is when we work on projects, uh, we do a lot of process before. For example, now I only, in, in this project, uh, you saw the final result, but you didn't saw all the before. So this is an example of how we work. Um, this is a, a publishing house in, in London, in, and they, the commission was to do a collection of three guides, food, shops, and, and I don't remember the other. So we did uh, this uh, design for them, and this is, um, you can see the process in that video. So food, this is not about graphic design, this is about the studio life. So if you want to follow us on Instagram, because we only have 700 followers. <laughs> um, so it, this, uh, this thing started five years ago, um, and we cook every Monday at the studio, and for all the team, and this is La Pastora Vida. Okay, Adria is not very happy with me because I only show Adria in those films. Okay, but this is the, the first how we started La Paso La Vida five years ago. It was a, a pitch. So this is real. This is Axis, and I think we, ha we were like four teams, and we had only two rounds, because at the end we wanted to kill each other. So because we wanted, as every team wanted to, to win, so at the end you can see all the, the, the kind of um, punctuation that we were very, very strict. So after, after two rounds, we decided not to do a competition. <laughs> Let's do it for free and for fun. So that was in the old studio. So every Monday when you when it's your, your turn, you cook. And that was with the competition because also the the decoration was part of the point. 
So for us, when it's in Sharon, in, when, we, when we do Pasta la Vida, we talk about our life, we don't talk about design. Sometimes like, some gossip. And this is Josep and Adria. And we cook for 10 people, more or less. And this is in the new studio. So we try to put it in on Instagram just to remember and to sometimes we go back and we said, okay, we can repeat that recipe and that are our best ones because sometimes we do a very bad pasta. And also we have some people or friends that they come and this is one, a friend that came to cook for us. So if you want, if you want to come to the studio, you, you can cook and you can come Mm, later for an invitation, but everyone that came to the studio to cook, they never come back. I don't know why. <laughs> <laughs> so fun. Fun is very important in graphic design, I mean, in my work. So from the beginning of the studio, the side project is very important. And this is a very old project, but I, will, I love to explain it. It's an Instagram account that is still alive, but it's not working. It's called Every Hey. So it started every day we, we design it, we illustrate a character and we show it on Instagram. Famous people, um, actors, um, uh, superheroes, whatever. So every day we show it on Instagram and at the end was like something funny and just for entertainment. This, this, that was the first character we did. So you can see how we do it be behind that. Um, so the Instagram was growing and growing and growing, and a lot of people was following us. And one guy, I, one guy from Madrid, did uh, the animations for us sometimes. At the end, we did 400 characters. It was uh, one year and more and a half working on that. Yes, it was a very big project and, and a very nice one. So this is a selection only, you can see on Instagram all the 400. But when we finish, oh, that, that after one year and a half, we were very tired, Re Ricardo did the illustrations, and we said, okay, let's do something to finish, or oh, like an uh, ending uh, thing. And we did uh, a party. So we did a party because we wanted to celebrate it with our friends, with our followers, and also because Instagram, I love Instagram, but I don't know what is going to happen in five years. Maybe it doesn't exist. So I'm very romantical in that way. So I thought, oh, let's do one print and we sell only one print, 400 prints. One week uh, setting up the exhibition <laughs> was crazy. But that day was so important because came a lot of people, a lot. And, and we wanted to celebrate because it, we, we made a lot of effort on this project. And gave. here are my, my parents. So that day, my, father's, my parents said, OK, Vero, you are doing well. <laughs> <laughs> After eight years of having my company. <laughs> and I said, yes, some, maybe. <gasps> And at the same time, for this exhibition, um, we did uh, we auto we did a, a book by ourselves, so you can buy it on our shop. It's because at the same time, the idea of the romantic idea of having something printed forever. And we had some help with our Wiggins that gave us the paper, and we have some also a prototype with a friend that is product designer, and it was only for the exhibition. So he had all the freedom to do whatever he wanted, and he did that. that it's like the, uh, the everyday characters. It is like a cake, and when you open, you see inside the character. It's made by, my, by wood and painted. And we wanted to do it uh, commercially, but it was so expensive. Uh, 
And at the same time, we found these things on Instagram that for me is the best thing that ca can happen to a designer. This is not a copy. This is something that is it's happy for me when a proud mama do a piñata for, for the kids. Or maybe a guy in the South America is painting t-shirts with the help of, of his aunt. This is very funny and this is so good when, when we, we saw it in the studio. ABC, it means typeface, of course, and typeface is also important as at the same level of color. And that was our first commission that was lettering. And we were afraid because we never did lettering. But I said, OK, lettering is like an illustration. It's shapes, and we can do that. And the commission was to do the four letters of a special issue for ESPN. Four letters was for the body issue. And we did some tests, uh, always with the idea of the body. This is what we sent to the client. And finally, the client chose this one because they saw this balance between masculine and feminine. And they fall in love with this type of face and they commission us the full alphabet. And with it, it's not coded, it does an illustration. And this is the final result, so it still uh, goes every number with ESPN. And because they were, they, they loved this typeface, they wanted like a second option, more digital, um, but with the same shapes, but digital inside. So we did some gradients. Everything is made in Illustrator. It's, Adobe di didn't say nothing to tell this, bit, but it's true, we work in Illustration. And sometimes if we have the possibility to work on typeface, we try to do our own typeface. And we, it's a custom typeface. This is a company in Barcelona, a light company. And we did uh, the typeface for, company, for Lumic, only uppercase. And this is an example for the, creative, for the Instagram account. And we, sometimes we try to do something more experimental. And that was the 10th anniversary we did last year. That was called Ye. It's Hey on the other side. <laughs> <laughs> and side projects, as I said at the beginning, are very important because here we don't have clients. So our client is, is us. So we don't have a deadline. We don't have the rush to do uh, what the client wants. So here we can de develop and, and go further on graphic design or maybe illustration, finding other routes. And we started to create some prints. And we said, OK, why, why don't we sell these prints and take profit of it? So we opened it, uh, a shop, an uh, sh online shop. And all this creativi creativity that we do on side projects, we sell on the, on the website. So here, it, sometimes the, I said, OK, we, now we have like one week or maybe four days to experiment. We, we don't have commercial works. Let's stop and then do, and let's experiment. That was a, a, bis, um, a Christmas poster we send every year to some clients. And also we did notebooks. At the, at the beginning, it was something that we were feeling comfortable with it, paper, uh, prints, and because it's what we do, graphic design. And at the beginning, we also did everything by our own. So it was a lot of work. That's the reason Gemma is the hair shop manager, because we didn't have time to do everything. <laughs> and this is the shop. And last year, we said, no, at the beginning of this year, we said, OK, so we can do print. But all these prints, all these illustrations can be applied on wherever we want. So why don't we do, for example, scarves? So we started to, to, to explore. And we find a supplier in, in Barcelona. And why don't we do blankets, for example? 
And, and this is uh, the day when we received the blanket at the studio. <laughs> and we did also the creative direction of the picture. This is Paula, the project manager. <laughs> And, and this is our blanket, so this is something that we are exploring now. So this is what I said at the beginning, at the end it's visual language that can be applied everywhere. And I'm finishing with something that is new, that only some friends and family know. At the beginning of this year, on January, I received an email from Counterprint, that is a very small publishing house in London, but I really love. And it was 22nd of January and was the best thing of the year because my last year was una mierda. And, uh, <laughs> uh, and, and you said, okay, the subject was hey book. It's good. <laughs> uh, as we have been thinking about the possibility of doing a book on your company. And I replied like 30 seconds later. <laughs> I think I had like tachycardia or something like that. And in one week it's going to be on sale in counter print books. And I'm very, very happy because for me this is a, it's more than a prize. It's for me it's like a kit, <laughs> a second kit. And, and I'm going to finish with a small video of the studio. Gracias. Gracias.